Hi there, Stephen from Owner Disso. Well, I've got four more deals from you, this time all from Best Buy. So the best ones I can see on Best Buy. Uh, but before I jump into that, I would like to go through Gizmo Slip Tech's uh, excellent uh, sort of database on gaming laptops. So uh, let's just go through that and then we'll jump to the deals. So I'll put a link in the description below for this. Um, but basically, I mean, I've been spending quite a few hours putting in some of these deals here for uh, Brandon. Um, now, it is a, a links in here are affiliate links, which do help support Brandon's channel and myself. Uh, so I just want to be transparent there. Now, we put it into different categories here. We've got uh, discount, which, of course, you know, for Black Friday, we've got all these discounts. So we've been adding these in here and putting the price, of course, here. Uh, but I'll go through some of the other categories as well. We got uh, some of uh, Brandon's uh, top picks. Um, of course, great laptops, which of course is quite a few of them. Some niche ones he's put in there, and there is a list here at the bottom for bad, <laughs> avoid unless on sale. And actually, some of those. Well, actually, I think one of those I have put into the deals, like so, there is, is up there. But if it, you know, if the price is good enough, it might be worth buying. So just scrolling along from left to right here, we've got. The price, so like uh, seven ninety nine here, and uh, Gizmo or Brandon, you know, suggesting eight hundred and fifty dollars would be a good price on this. So if it's less than that, we're talking uh, like a, a value versus market. So a positive number shows that it is, you know, it's definitely worthwhile looking at. And uh, we've now added a battery column life uh, column there, so thumbs down, you know, two thumbs up if it's got good battery to make that easier. Um, quality rating also we've got uh, a mini review so just a bit of summation on uh, you know on what the laptop's about and that type of thing now further along if there is available uh, you know more detailed review links um, the best we can uh, get you know in terms of the uh, benchmark scores if it's actual numbers we actually put actual numbers that are like real or if it's estimated from like another you know the same CPU and um, we put an estimated there and the same for the TimeSpy GPU score. And uh, for the GPU score, you know, we rate it compared to, say, a 13,000, uh, which is like a 3080 type of your t t top of the line deal. Um, we put on here whether it's got Optimus or, you know, Mux Switch, which is useful to know. I've just been adding the, the display so we can sort by display size and also the weight if you want a lighter or, or heavier laptop, perhaps. Now, if there's a yeah, you can get like a detailed review, links for various ones. If it's a YouTube video, there's a little play button there. That'll take you to the uh, YouTube video. And sources for the benchmark scores here. And uh, if there's any other further notes, you'll see them on here as well. And of course, here we have the, the links to where they are and the various stores together for the stock photograph there. And we also have a suggested item field. If you see any good deals, please feel free to suggest them, put them in there, put all the details in so we can actually add them to the list and help other people out. Now, we'd be grateful if you put the model number, the price, and uh, also where it's at. That's the most important thing because here's some examples. we just got GS66. No idea where it's at. It could be anywhere. Um, just, you know, sometimes you just get blanks. But input whatever details you can, and that would certainly help us out a lot. So you can sort here at the top. You now you can sort by price, ascending, descending, you know, model, all all of that. You can sort by the, the the category, or again that, or you can go in more depth and do like a filter. Now the first laptop I wanted to talk about was the. Uh, you know, we've talked about this one lots of times. It's down to $1,249 over at Best Buy. It's a saving of 650 I know it's been on sale before for around about 1500 so it's even been reduced from that. And then I think it went down to 1350 So now it's down even more. You know, and it's very tempting. It's a 4K OLED, fantastic panel. I've seen it. You know, it's drop-dead gorgeous. Uh, the 11800H, uh, of course, is a great 8-core CPU. Dual channel RAM, 16 gigabytes, and it comes with a 3060. Uh, so if you want to, uh, for example, go and have a look on here, let's to go into a filter. And go gigabyte. Of 
Okay, you only had 30, 60. Is it there? You can bring it up here. It gives you all the details here. The mini review from uh, which uh, I, I believe that uh, uh, Brandon put in. That's a summation here. It is one of the cheapest OLED uh, gaming laptops you can get there. So it's certainly worth getting that one. So the next one I wanted to talk about was the uh, the Gigabyte uh, Aorus 15P YD. The YD is the one with the 3080. Now often it does come with a 360 hertz panel. This has a 240 hertz panel, but it's still going to be more than uh, adequate. Now it's been reduced $450 from 2350 down to about $1,900. Now bear in mind, it's got 32 gigabytes of RAM as well. Uh, I think that's an, an excellent deal. Now the panel, I think it's 72% uh, of NTSC. And it's got Thunderbolt 4, HDMI 2.1, and uh, mini display port 1.4. There's all the ports there. And, of course, you've got an SD card reader there, which, you know, is, I think it's a UHS, yep, UHS 2 SD card reader, so you get some good read speeds, probably about 300 megabytes per second there. Now, the fans, I believe, uh, go up to a maximum of uh, 57 decibels, um, but you can control the fans, make it down to, uh, like, about 26 decibels. And uh, the Snipinch R20 score is about 4,920. That is, you know... Average uh, for the 11800H is about 4,600 or so. So it's, it's better, and that's pretty decent. Uh, the, understand the PL1 is 45 watts, and the PL2 is 109 watts. So, of course, we also have the, the same laptop, but this time with uh, the 3060. And, of course, it's got RGB keyboard as well, so that's very nice, perky RGB. Now, the only difference here... <clears throat> of course, we only got five twelve gigabyte SSD and sixteen gigabytes of uh, RAM. Is the thirty sixty? You notice that in the title, we even put the uh, the, the TDP, so it'd be ninety to one hundred and five watts. The thirty sixty. So that's that's a decent thirty sixty. And uh, of course, this, this is Optimus, no MacBook switch. Uh, so, but that is a good price of twelve hundred dollars. And sometimes you see open boxes too. You know, <laughs> basically they're giving them away. So the last laptop I want to show you is the Alienware M15R5, of course, a 15.6 inch, and this time it's a 1080p, um, 360 hertz panel. Now you do can get it with a QHD 240 hertz, but this is the full HD one. Uh, Ryzen 9 5900HX, 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM, a 3070, it's 125 watt 3070, you do get a terabyte SSD. So this is $1,900 reduced from $2,100. I think that's a pretty dear good deal. You do have uh, G-Sync and uh, Advanced Optimus on it. Now, interestingly, Jared's Tech did a, a good video on this, and uh, he said that um, uh, the performance was a, a little bit lacking. Um, we got a better performance plugging it into an external monitor. So it was as if yeah, the, uh, the G-Sync, uh, the Opti Advanced Optimus, wasn't working that well to, to cut out the integrated GPU, but uh, you'll certainly check out his video. So I think he's got an 86 watt hour battery, and that uh, I think lasted him a long time. I think it was about nine hours, uh, Jared quoted. And of course, it's a nice looking laptop as usual, perky RGB with all kinds of nice uh, lighting effects. So that's $1,900. Well, there you go. Four more laptops. I'll keep on adding them to the list, uh, the Brandon's list there, and I'll put the link to that below. Uh, happy shopping. Thanks for watching. Bye now.